Welcome to the Imprechem Shi video. This is one of the most important information videos you will watch at Imprechem. The company has already invested in you and in your health and safety, and so must ensure that you are fully equipped with the knowledge and the tools to do your job, but most importantly, to do it safely and with zero harm. Please pay close attention and if you require further information, please refer to your manager or any of the SHE team. You will be asked to complete a test at the end of this video and a pass mark of 80% is required. Who is Imprechem? Imprechem provides innovative chemical, monitoring, control and engineered solutions for industrial and potable water management as well as hydrocarbon processing. We serve many industries and our integrated offerings help our customers achieve sustainable and operational performance whilst minimizing safety, health and environmental risks. Why focus on safety, health and the environment? The Occupational Health and Safety Act is compulsory legislation that provides a framework for employers and employees to work together in the interests of safety. And so this law imposes specific legal duties on both parties. In other words, the company and all its employees are legally instructed to ensure that safety and health requirements are implemented and complied with. You have been issued with a full copy of the Act and are expected to review it, especially Section 14, the duties of employees. You have also signed a Section 14 letter confirming your understanding of these important duties. So, you must know your safety duties as an employee and ensure that you comply at all times. Next is the ACI SHEC framework. ACI has clearly defined its bigger values and its commitment to achieving excellence in various SHEC disciplines, including occupational safety, process safety, the environment, going green, occupational health, product transportation, and quality. This is embodied in our zero harm goal, mission and strategy. All the information about zero harm is available in your pocket safety book or on the company intranet and the SHEC framework document. ACI have also adopted the 10 life saving behaviors or LSBs. They too are included in your pocket safety book so be sure to review them and comply at all times. Responsible care and green gauge. The ACI group of companies, including Imprechem, are committed to the guiding principles of responsible care. This means that Imprechem will act responsibly and ethically in all aspects of its operations as it relates to the environment and minimize our impact on the environment and protect the health and safety of our employees and the public. As the name implies, we take responsible care of the environment. Our Going Green program focuses on minimizing the water, energy and waste. Going Green is not just part of our good chemistry brand, it is one of our important company values. Again, your pocket safety book and the Sheck Framework booklet has lots of useful information about this. Now let's take a closer look at the Imprechem policies and procedures. Imprechem regards the well-being of our employees, contractors, customers and the community as being critically important and essential to the ongoing success of the company. And so, Sheck is always a top priority. There are specific Imprechem Sheck policies and rules and these are included in your pocket safety book for your reference. You will be asked to review and sign these policies during the SHEC forums. Now let's focus on some specific safety requirements for you as an Imprechem employee. Our goal is zero harm and this means that we aspire to operate sustainably without harm to people, the environment and the communities in which we operate. All employees are expected to work and act safely at all times, taking care to always identify any hazards and control or reduce any risks wherever possible. 
Be sure you know what safety rules and regulations apply to your job and obey them at all times. Take care when walking around. Many injuries occur due to slips, trips and falls. So be sure to always look where you are walking and ensure that the walkways are clear, safe and slip free. If necessary, rather take a different or safer route. Whenever you go up or down any stairs, always ensure that you apply the three point contact rule. 1. Hold on securely to the handrail at all times. 2. Make sure that your feet are firmly and fully on the step. Do not just use the tip of your foot or shoe. And 3. Most importantly, your eyes. Look where you are walking and placing your feet. If you have items to carry, ensure that you always have at least one hand completely free to hold onto the handrail. If you have too many items, ask for help or carry the items individually. Find out what the relevant safety and danger signs mean and obey them. Be on the lookout for any possible hazards which could injure you or your fellow workers and report this to your manager or any safety representative immediately. Report all injuries and accidents immediately to your manager and the SHE department. This is a very important rule and is covered in greater detail in the pocket safety book. Do not enter any areas that you are not specifically authorized for, nor do any jobs that you are not competent to do. For lab staff or anyone working in laboratories, inform the lab manager and ensure that all safety standards and rules are adhered to. Where safety showers and eyewash fountains have been installed, get to know where these are and learn how to use them. Make sure your safety clothing and any PPE, for example, lab coats, overalls, safety shoes and so on, are always clean and kept in a good condition. Replace these items immediately if required. Ensure that you always wear the correct and all PPE for any job that you are doing. Keep your workplace clean, neat and free from things which you or someone else could trip over. Housekeeping is a cornerstone of a good safety work ethic. Do not play pranks or games at work and never tamper with any safety, emergency or firefighting equipment. Always follow all the safety rules and standards. They are there for a good reason. If you are unsure about any task, rather ask for help or advice. Do not take chances or shortcuts. Review the safety and health focus communications each week and learn from them. Review the flash notifications for every group incident and also implement any preventative actions where possible. The Pocket Safety Book a detailed pocket safety book or PSB has been issued to you. It has many pages of essential and useful information and is a key reference booklet that you must keep nearby and also ensure that it is always up to date. Please make use of this booklet to do a minimum of one hazard assessment or hat each month and to conduct a JHA or job hazard analysis whenever needed. The rule is that a JHA must be performed before you start any new task for the first time and or any unusual task and or any high risk or dangerous task. Note that an electronic version of the JHA is also available on Smartsheets. Refer to the SHE plan documentation for more information. SHE forums both the Occupational Health and Safety Act and our SHE standards call for regular safety-related training to be conducted at the workplace for all employees and contractors. To comply with this, safety forums will be scheduled at your office or site. These full-day sessions are planned well in advance and your attendance is compulsory. You will also be required to write a test to confirm your understanding of the topics that are discussed. The SHE department will also audit various SHEC documentation, including TBRAs, site risk assessments, LOAs, PPE registers, and so on. A checklist has been provided 
to assist you in preparing for this important audit and it is also included in the pocket safety booklet. Auditing and risk assessments. In accordance with the OSHA Act, all hazards must be regularly identified and addressed. You will be asked to carefully review the task-based risk assessment for your job and then to sign the register to confirm your understanding and acceptance of all the risks you may be exposed to. Be sure to pay attention to this important document. You must also conduct annual site risk assessments or SRAs for each workplace or application site and document this using the site risk assessment form. The site risk assessment also requires you to identify the top three risks for that site and list the specific control measures that will reduce the risks. Remember, it is very important to discuss the site risk assessment with your manager and the customer and to get their signatures confirming this. SRAs will be audited, so ensure that every customer site has an SRA that is accurate and up to date each year. Smart sheets. Various Sheck smart sheets have been developed for easy and effective Sheck management and reporting. These smart sheets will be further explained and demonstrated to you during the SHE forums as needed. Contact the Sheck department if you need any assistance. Safe work procedures. The safe work procedures are documents that specify how high risk tasks or jobs must be done. You will be asked to review the safe work procedures for all the high risk tasks that you do and will be tested and observed to ensure that you follow the exact procedures. So make sure that you are aware of the correct procedures and then always follow them fully. You will also be required to confirm your compliance in your pocket safety book. SDS Safety Data Sheet Letter of Acceptance, also known as the LOA. It is a legal requirement that specific safety information in the form of a safety data sheet or SDS is made available to every customer. So, to ensure that there is a record of this, a fully completed and signed letter of acceptance or LOA must be established for each customer site or application. The LOA must detail the customer company name, site address and specific customer person's information. All the chemical products used at that site must also be listed and the SDS for each product must be issued to the customer. The LOA is a receipt to prove that this important legal requirement has been complied with. Ensure that your customer signs this letter and returns it to you. Your personal SDS letter of review. As customers are requested to sign an LOA, similarly, you are also required to sign an SDS letter of review, confirming that you have reviewed and understood the SDS for every hazardous chemical product that you work with. Make sure that you regularly review the SDSs for all the products you may handle and that you know all of the dangers of those specific chemicals as well as the PPE requirements. SHE Statistics The Improchem Intranet is a central company library for lots of information, including the Sheck statistics and much more. The main Sheck scorebook can be found on the main Intranet page. Simply click on Dashboard and then Safety Dashboard to review all the latest stats, incident information and graphs. All our key Sheck stats are also detailed on every safety focus each week. Contact the SHE department if you need further assistance. Regional Safety Officers or RSOs If your region has an appointed Regional Safety Officer, they will guide you with respect to risk assessments, safe work procedures, PTOs and much more. Please meet, consult with and support your RSO. Remember, they are assisting the manager and you with many of the safety related tasks and have your safety and health as a priority. Health and Safety Committee and Representatives 
If your office or region has an appointed health and safety representative or RSO, they must be designated with a sign and photo in the office area. Please communicate with that person regularly on any aspects relating to your health and safety or any hazards at your workplace. This representative will then raise any issues at the SHEC committee meetings. Also, remember that you are welcome to contact your manager with any SHE concerns or any of the SHE team directly. First aiders. Each relevant work site or area must also have a designated first aider. At your various customer sites, please identify who the first aider for that area is. Know who they are and where to find them. Please note that first aiders are not permitted to dispense any medication at all. So tablets, creams and other medication is not available. However, your own safety kit includes a small first aid kit for minor ailments, cuts and bruises. All injuries and incidents, even near misses, must immediately be verbally reported to your manager as well as the SHE department. This is a very strict legal requirement, so please ensure that you comply following any incident. Housekeeping Good housekeeping does help to prevent incidents. Treating your work site or area with respect and keeping it clean and organized will help avoid slips, trips, falls and bumps. Good housekeeping ensures that your work area is safer, more pleasant, easier to work in and also makes you more productive. So please ensure that you practice good housekeeping at all times. Personal protective equipment. The safety data sheet or SDS details clearly what precautions and specific PPE is required when contacting the various chemicals. The wearing and use of PPE is not only a legal requirement, but also one of our life-saving behaviors and so must be complied with. Customer sites may also specify that additional PPE is required. Again, ensure that you comply with this at all times. You've been issued with a wide variety of high quality PPE items. Please maintain these items in good order and store them in your allocated safety or PPE bag. You are also required to check each item in your safety kit each month and sign the monthly PPE checklist in the pocket safety book. This will also be audited, so please make sure you comply with this important rule. Contact the SHE department or your secretary immediately to replace any broken or lost items. Remember, PPE is your last resort, but it is a very effective barrier, especially against chemical exposure. So always wear the right and full PPE whenever working with any chemicals. Health and Wellness The company also focuses on employee health and wellness. The main objective of this program is to focus on holistic wellness and create a culture of wellness by educating, coaching and supporting all employees. ACI have also introduced the iCAS system which is the Independent Counseling and Advisory Service. This is a free service to all company employees and immediate family members that need any advice, counseling or assistance with any problem. All the required information is in the pocket safety book. Female employees are reminded to notify their manager and the HR department if they become pregnant or suspect that they may be pregnant. Medical surveillance. Every employee and contractor must undergo a compulsory annual medical assessment each year in order to determine if there are any medical issues or problems related to their job. The SHEC department will inform you when these medicals are to be done, usually before March of each year. Once you have completed your medical, and all the results have been analyzed, a Periodical Medical Certificate or PMC will be signed and issued by the company doctor, confirming that you are fit to work.
A form for this is provided in your pocket safety book. All employees and contractors are required to undergo this medical assessment at an approved occupational medical facility before starting any work. Managers must ensure that this important rule is enforced without exception. Driving. All motor vehicle drivers are required to adhere to the Road Traffic Act as well as the specific safety rules of the company. These laws and safety rules are set in place to prevent serious vehicle and road accidents. As vehicle accidents are one of Imprecam's highest risks, disciplined driver behavior is an absolute must. Each employee that drives a company-sponsored vehicle is required to attend and pass a specified defensive driving course every three years. Details will be provided to you as needed. You are reminded of a few specific driving rules. Drivers and all passengers are required to wear seat belts at all times. Obey the speed limits as per the road signs. Always switch on your headlights, even in daylight. It has been proved that this makes you more visible to other road users and so this has been adopted as a company rule. Your manager must complete a driver assessment form each year, detailing your driving standards as well as the condition of your vehicle. A form is available in the pocket safety book. Drivers using tool of trade vehicles will be required to acknowledge their obligations in terms of the care and use of this company vehicle. The policy is in the pocket safety book and each driver will need to review and sign this policy each year. Report all vehicle accidents to your manager and the SHE department before the end of that particular day during which the accident occurred irrespective of the extent of damage. Drugs and drinking policy. In terms of the Occupational Health and Safety Act, the consumption of any intoxicating liquor and or drugs is strictly forbidden in all work areas. Imprechem is also concerned about the dangers of operating any machinery or vehicle whilst under the influence of alcohol. According to the provisions of the Road Traffic Act, it is a criminal offence to drive a vehicle whilst under the influence of any drug or liquor. If you intend to do any work or operate any machinery or drive a vehicle, please be especially aware of any liquor that you have consumed and ensure that you do not exceed the legal blood alcohol limits. Imprechem is committed to assisting and supporting employees who are experiencing difficulty with any alcohol or drug dependence problem. Contact HR or the Employee Assistance Program or ICAS for confidential assistance. Cell phones. If you've been issued with any cell phone, you are reminded that the use thereof is not permitted at all whilst driving, even if you have a hands-free device or car kit. Research has shown that a driver's cognitive ability is severely affected whilst talking. So, Inform your customers or manager that you will be unavailable whilst driving and then switch off your cell phone when you get into your car. Only once you have arrived at your destination, turn your phone on again, get your voice messages and action any urgent requests. When driving, just drive. Laboratory work. Many of our employees do need to work in laboratory facilities. These often contain an impressive array of equipment as well as dangerous items, chemicals and even biological agents. Please do not enter these areas unless you are authorized to do so. If you are required to work in any laboratories, please ensure that the relevant lab manager is informed beforehand and grants permission to you. Furthermore, ensure that you are properly protected by wearing all the suitable and correct personal protective equipment. Once you have completed your lab work, ensure that your work area is properly cleaned and sorted out back to the way you found it. Do not leave any water, chemicals, reagents or other samples behind in the lab. Arrange for their proper disposal with the lab manager if necessary. Chemical transportation. The transportation of chemicals in any unclassified vehicles is not allowed under any circumstances. 
Small quantities of reagents are allowed, provided all the precautionary measures have been taken. For example, reagents have been packed in absorbent material and SDSs are available for each reagent. The Road Traffic Act is very specific in this regard, so please ensure that you do not transport any chemicals. Contractor Management Contractors and subcontractors that conduct any work for Imprechem are considered to be employees of Imprechem. This means that if you employ any contractor or person to do any work under your supervision or direction, you will be held responsible for that contractor should any incident occur. For this reason, all contractors must attend an annual safety training session and approval process which is conducted by the SHE department. Once they have achieved status as an approved contractor, then only may they be employed or contacted to do the work. So, do not use any unapproved contractors under any circumstances. A contractor induction website and database has been implemented. Make sure that all your contractors visit this site and comply with our requirements. Please contact the SHE department for more information. Finally, all of the measures, procedures and standards that have been discussed are for the safety, health and protection of yourself, your colleagues and the company. Please abide by the rules and enjoy a safe working environment. If you require any assistance, do not hesitate to contact any of the SHE department. We wish you an enjoyable and zero harm work life at Imprechem.